setting up keeping it real. We're out at the barn with Gun, Drew, and Zach. Uh, and they're going to show us how they're going to uh, put this cabbage together. So I'm going to let y'all take over. Okay. So what are we doing here? All right, so you take your head of cabbage, lay it out on some tin foil, and then what you're going to do is you're going to slice it down. I like to do three slices this way. Go about a little over halfway down. And then you do it the other way to make it like a checkerboard. The boy's got skills. That boy's just hungry. I should have brought you a cutting board. I gotta get you one. That's all right. All right, so now you got your checkerboards in there. Take a half a stick of butter. I like to have them sliced up, that way they're easier to slit down those cracks because you just stick the butter down in there and all the little cracks and crevices. And you've done this at school. Yep. Right? Yep. For tailgates. Done it for tailgates. It's real easy to do. I think we got the recipe from Trey Dillon. Yep. Let's give him some kudos. He's done texting me about it. Trey Oliver. Yep. You don't have to hit every little crack and crevice, but you know, just Scatter make sure it's out. half a stick of butter. It'll all soak up in there. What's your temperature on that? Uh, the grill's grill? sitting at 275 right now. Okay. Normally I cook Boston butts at 300, but we're cooking these a little slower because we didn't have to have them ready as soon. So at 275, the cabbage will take about, oh, probably four and a half hours. Okay. All right, so now, Take a little crushed red pepper. It's in the ideal way to put the pepper on, but that's all we got for right now. So about a fourth a teaspoon or so, depending on how, how hot you like it. We like a little bit of heat on ours. And since we're cooking them for the rehearsal dinner, we don't want to overpower it with heat. All right. And that's heavy duty full. You take regular black pepper. Cover that. Salt. Mm -hmm. All right. Then you lay six. Well, three slices of bacon. Do half a can of beer first. All right. Kind of pour the beer on there. Yes, you got to use Bud Light. You don't have to use Bud Light. <laughs> I prefer Miller Light, but hey, <laughs> any kind of any kind of light beer works. No heavy. You might have a headache after you eat it. That's right. <laughs> you got six strips of bacon. This cabbage is pretty. Mm -hmm. You just lay them across. Yep. Awesome. And y'all, when this is done, it just falls apart. Falls apart. Literally falls apart. One cabbage will feed probably what six people, would you say? Probably. Round about. Yep. So then take three more. So you're doing six slices of bacon. Six per slices head. of bacon per head. Okay. Which seasons it really nice? Son, I am impressed with your culinary skills. It's pretty simple. <laughs> then, after you got all that, you just wrap it up real nice and tight. Yeah, right. You want to try to seal off your cracks as best you can so it keeps the moisture inside. And that's what the beer helps to do is keep it moist. And then that goes right on and the grill. And that goes right on the grill. Okay. Just like that. Alright. So put cabbage on the grill. Now you can also do this in your oven. 300 just adjust degrees. the temperature about 300 degrees. I'd put a pan under it. Gun's gonna show us what they did this morning. About 8.30ish, they put our Boston butts on, and you seasoned them how, guys? Montreal steak seasoning. Montreal steak seasoning. Huh? That's it. But you pack it in really good. That's the David Engel trick to the Boston butts. That is the David Engel trick. We are passing on the family tradition. Put it right on the grill. All right, thanks, guys. You're welcome. All right.